Hi everyone and welcome to Thermodynamics 2 Tutorials with Maria. We're going to be solving a simple psychometric problem and we are giving a cooling section with certain inner temper uh, conditions um, and we have here a cooling a heat out and we are asked to find the exit temperature, the exit relative humidity and the exit velocity of the cooling section. Before jumping into the problem, Let's review the psychometric chart. So the psych psychometric chart looks something like this, and it's a very useful tool because by having two parameters, we can find a lot of data. So let's start by the dew point. Is the temperature measured by standard thermometer? So most of the time when we have a problem like this one that we are told that we have a temperature of 32 degrees Celsius, that's the dry bulb temperature. And in our chart, the values are here, and we have to follow the straight line. So that is the dry bulb temperature. For the wet bulb temperature, which is measured by a wet, wet bulb thermometer, the values are given like that, also in degrees Celsius. And the bulb web temperature is always higher than the dry bulb, unless the uh, relative humidity is 100%, then they're going to be equal. Then we have the entropy, which is the heat energy in the air. So the entropy is going to give, be given a straight line like that. We have to follow those lines. So this is going to be entropy. We have the relative humidity, which is the amount of water air can contain at a certain temperature. And this is our curves like that. And it goes in percentage. So this is relative humidity. And we have the absolute humidity, which is the humidity ratio. So the numbers are going give, to be given here. It's going to be in kilogram of water over kilogram of air, and they're going to follow straight line. Then we have the dew, dew point, and the dew point is like the saturated um, temperature uh, where water is going to start to condensate out of moist air, and they're going to be given here now we can jump into the problem and we can see that we're giving the dry bulb temperature at 1 that is equal to 32 degrees Celsius and the relative humidity at 1 which is 30 percent and by only having two values we can go on and look for the entropy at 1, the absolute humidity and the specific volume. Perfect. What we can see here is that the absolute humidity in our system won't change because we don't have any, any system that is humidifying or dehumidifying. So we know that the absolute humidity is going to remain the same. So we already have a value for our second state. We also know that the potential energy and kinetic energy can be neglected and that we're going to have a constant mass flow. So the mass flow at 1 plus is going to be equal to the mass flow at 2. So it's just going to be the mass flow. So now we need to find another value at state 2 in order to go to our psychometric chart. What we have is a heat out. And we know that the heat out is going to be equal to the mass flow rate times H1 minus H2. H1 we have, the mass flow rate we have, we can find. And this one we have. So the mass flow rate is equal to the velo velocity times the cross section area times the specific volume. The velocity is giving us 18 meters per second. The area of a pipe is pi r squared. So in our case, it's going to be pi times 0 0.2 meters squared times the specific volume, which is the one we found. And we're going to find the mass flow rate of. 2.58 kilograms per second. Now we can solve for the entropy at 2, which we, we can rewrite as H2 is going to be equal to H1 minus Q out over the mass flow rate. So H2 is going to be equal to 55 kilojoule per kilogram minus 1200. It's kilojoule per minute. So we're going to have to divide it. So it's going to be per minute. And we know one minute is 60 seconds over the mass flow rate. And we did that because our mass flow rate is in second. So it's going to be 2.58 kilograms per second. And it's going to be equal to 47.25 kilo 
joule per kilogram of dry air. So now we do have a state two, the enthalpy, and we also have the absolute humidity because we say it's gonna remain constant. So by having these two, we can go to the psychometric chart and find the values of temperature at two relative humidity and specific volume at two. So the relative humidity, we found it, is 46.6. The accent temperature is the temperature two, which is the dry bulb temperature, which we also found. Now we need the exit velocity. So we know that the mass flow rate is gonna remain constant. So we can also say that M equals to A2, V2. But we also know there's gonna be a straight pipe so, pipe, so these one are gonna be the same. And to find V2, we say it's gonna be the specific volume at two, so it's gonna be 0 0.856 over the specific volume of one, which we found before, times the velocity at one, which is 18 meters per second. And that is gonna give us 17.6 meters per second.